Thor, come on. Come on. Yeah, woo, no problem. Maybe the batteries aren't screwed after all. Today is the day. It's a uh, move-in day, and if you haven't figured it out, it's also really cold outside. Um, but yeah, we're moving in. Hopefully by the end of today, this shop is pretty much empty. Right now we're gonna go pick up the U-Haul trailer and the school bus. Um, I'm really excited to tow some more things because I like towing things with school buses. And then we're gonna load it up, do a couple trips. Then we're gonna have to uh, get the lift there, which will be an interesting process. And then, uh, yeah. So let's go get ourselves the trailer. Oh, I miss that diesel school, man. It's insane. I'm serious, it's just like so much turbo. My best sounding vehicle is a school bus. <laughs> That's sad. Tiny freaking trailer for a big ass bus, but uh, we're all good, so. Let's, uh, let's go load her up. Probably could have packed it a little bit tighter, fit more stuff back there, but um, well, we're gonna have to make a second trip anyway. And wow, this is this is pretty packed. We made it. Let's unload now. Echo. Echo. Oh, there's lights over there. Huh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Let's see how everything back here survived. <laughs> Not terribly. No. All right. Load one is unloaded. Uh, we definitely still have some junk to get rid of, but whatever. That's fine. We'll do that later. So uh, I think we're gonna go back to the old shop. Uh, get another load, get some lunch, and then keep working. There we go. All this junk is going back to Goodwill. I never expected to be saying this, but I actually like, I really like driving this bus. It's just, it's so big and like powerful and just, it's kind of fun towing stuff. I don't know, I like it. It also gives me memories of our trip down to Georgia, which was awesome. We really need to finish this thing and go on a road trip, so that's gonna be so fun. Um, and it just, it tows like a beast, it sounds awesome, it's comfortable, it's got an awesome audio system. It's so nice. If it wasn't so big, I'd totally daily it. About to bring another load to the new shop. Um, thanks, Audrey. After we bring this load to the shop, we're gonna come back, get the lift, um, and we're, we're still not done. We've got a lot of scrap, but the scrap yard's closed today, of course, so we're gonna do that tomorrow. Hopefully, we're moving everything that we want out today, so yeah. So, of course, I forgot my camera here at the shop when we went to go back and get the lift. Uh, but we did get it. We went back, we uh, unbolted it, we hauled it onto the freaking trailer, and then we strapped it down. Kind of sketchy, but we got it here. The lift's going right here. Kind of right there, and then my workbenches and stuff are gonna be in this corner, so. It's gonna be nice. I'm really excited to finally have lift. Like, oh, it's gonna make so many things so easy. Are you like that? 
Nice, red nose thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was a very busy day, a very long day. I woke up at 7, we were moving all day. I got done at like 1 a.m. Um, we ended up taking five trips to and from the shop. A lot more than the one, I thought. So we spent like six hours of just driving. It was crazy, but uh, this is what we're left with. Um, it's Everything is pretty much gone. Come on, camera, let's go. There we go. The only stuff that is left in here is Pretty much junk. Take a couple trips to the uh, the, the dump, or I don't, I don't really know. Where do I bring stuff? The dump, right? That's, that's how it works. Oh, hey, look, I found my spacers. That's cool. But yeah, I guess we're gonna load up a U-Haul uh, with trash and then uh, bring it somewhere. And then we're almost done. This place looks, I mean, it looks okay when it's empty. I think I just, I let it get too disorganized and too crowded. It, it kind of got small and not good. So we're not gonna do that with the new shop. We're gonna make sure to stay organized, but yeah, let's load something up. Scrap place closes in 10 minutes, so we gotta get going. I put the MG motor in there. There's a pain in the butt getting that thing in there, but should get some money from it. This is pretty crazy, actually. Let's hope I don't get stuck. I gave them like 500 pounds of metal. They gave me $14. Okay, let's go get lunch, boys. Uh, that was kind of a waste of time. I wish I whatever. Doesn't matter. I got some money. I got rid of my stuff. Win-win, I guess. Ladies and gents, this is it. We're leaving. We're saying goodbye to the shithole shop. <laughs> we had a, a couple of good memories here. It was, it was useful. It, was, you know, it, it did what it needed to do, but uh, hence the name shithole shop. It is a shithole. <laughs> Let's play a little, little throwback clip of all the things that we've done with the shop. Welcome, this is our shop. I've been talking about getting a shop for a while and we finally got it. Put a comment in the comment section if you want us to put a slide in here. If, if it gets the majority vote, I'll put a slide in there. Very good. I'm gonna put on safety glasses. Oh, <laughs> that was fucking awesome. We also just found this little kitten outside. Look at Hi, little guy. Audrey wants to name him Axel. Uh, I like the name. Now, of course, we have the slide, which is still really sketchy, because it's fucking fast, like, like, ah! Ow, oh god. I think it definitely looks nicer than when we came here, for sure. As long as I like keep the camera below this level, it looks really good. Like, oh dang, <laughs> it's kind of a nice shop. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what's happening with the RX-7. It's gonna stay at Mike's shop over there for uh, a couple of days until the exhaust bits come in the mail. The ones I wanted were, of course, out of stock, so, you know, it, it sits. And then the rest of this other stuff, I can come back and do a different day. The important thing is that everything that I needed the trailer for is now done. So everything else is just like a little bit of cleaning up. Back to this being echoey, I remember that when we first got it. I remember all the spiders that we killed here. I think the only thing I'm gonna miss about the shop is not having to care. The neighbors were cool, you know, this was already kind of crappy. We didn't really have to care, we can do whatever we want. But I think it's worth it to get a nice, nicer shop. Goodbye terrible lighting also, that's gonna be nice. Um, but that's it for today guys. We are all moved in pretty much. Next up is buying new stuff for the new shop and unpacking. Lyft is getting installed soon and um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, please give it a dislike. One kind of annoying thing is that the new shop doesn't have AT&T available so I had to cancel my internet and pay like a $200 uh, early cancellation fee, which is so dumb. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily videos. Uh, this is my first time ever doing daily videos besides gaming videos And it's kind of fun. It's kind of difficult, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it nonetheless And uh, I'll see you still tomorrow. If you guys want to support the channel help the uh, new shop getting awesomer Go check out some merch and my patreon. I totally appreciate everyone who does anything like that and uh, Yeah, that's it now totally so Goodbye. 2017 RIP, but here comes 2018, boy. And if you're wondering what the new shop looks like with all the stuff in it, here we are. There's a decent amount of stuff in here, but uh, a lot less than there was in the other shop. And everything we kept, we're gonna use. So much more empty than the other shop, even with everything in it, which is awesome, so. Good.